Hey guys, Edog Place here, bringing you guys another video today for the second video of the day. We are going to be hopping on to Taps to Riches for another jungle video. As you can see, we've been gone for 16 hours, 16 minutes, and 2 seconds. We've earned 41.26 bad billion as well since we've been away. So we got a day four reward, another bronze crate. Next couple days, next three days we play this, it's going to be good though. Uh, we got a free profit bonus or free profit boost refill plus another 50 stars. You know, we're on that star grind. Try to get as many as we possibly can. We only got 37 hours left to play this. So there'll probably be two more videos on this. I'm hoping two more videos. Um, I can't promise anything though. But business bonus will go ahead and collect. Let's go ahead and take a look at our quest. So tap for two golden tickets. Spend golden tickets at Earth and reach a business or level 449. Okay, we I think we can do all of those. Well, both of them. We got now nine profit bonus refills left because we just used another one. But we got four and a half hours of times 2.8 profits. Um, view prizes. We didn't unlock anything. We did watch a bunch of videos as well. We still need about 2,000 more stars. Uh, free spins we can go, I didn't watch, oh yeah, I remember, because we couldn't watch the videos, because it was saying that I had to purchase them, it didn't refresh for some reason. So, we're gonna have to go ahead and just use these ones, use these jungle, or free jungle advisor, free earth advisor, and free space advisor. And we are getting, well, we we're close to getting, oh, I seen that guy, that limited edition, that two star, so many times, it is getting annoying. Now level 2, but 2 out of 3, 6 times profits at Alabama University. And, okay, well, let's go quick to, er, er, space, sorry. We need to do one upgrade. Um, can we do any upgrades? Boom, completed that. Get there. Free space advisor that we're going to go ahead and collect. Hopefully getting a limited, that's all I want. We have 4 out of the 8 limited edition advisors, but we've got so many duplicates. <gasps> I don't know if we have this. This might be the one that we just got yesterday. Oh, it's the one we got yesterday. Okay. Six times speed at all entertainment biz. Dang it. And now let's go ahead and go over to Earth. We need to still tap for two golden tickets. That's something that might take a little while. Shouldn't take too long, though. Uh, Pari Earth Advisor, hopefully, again, a limited edition. Still only have four to the eight that you can collect. And, uh, Earth One Star. Great. Just that I like to see. A duplicate, now level two, upgraded to nine times profits at Payday Pawn. Now, let's hop back over to Jungle and tap for the two golden tickets that we're gonna need. Quests, yes, just tap for two more golden tickets. Okay, sounds good. So, tapping for golden tickets might be a little bit harder than tapping for gems. I'm not actually 100% sure. I think gold, I think they're probably pretty similar. I'm not gonna lie. Golden tickets, I mean, you get lots of golden tickets quite easily, but I think tapping for them is difficult. Um, I could be wrong, but I think tapping for gems and tapping for golden tickets is about just as hard. Because you don't usually get too many golden tickets, do you? Um, gold Empire. We have 428. Now we have... How much? 568 golden tickets. And we're about to be at 570 because we need to tap for two. If it's going to ever happen. If we're ever going to be able to tap for two golden tickets. Take your time. No, I'm, I, I can wait. I can wait. Um, while we're waiting to get these two golden tickets, I thought we might as well talk about Fortnite. There's been a bunch of more leaks since I actually made a video. So yesterday, I don't know if you guys follow Fortnite, but there's been a bunch of portals that have been popping up ever since the rocket launch. There was a portal on Lonely Lodge, Motel, um, Greasy Grove. Like There's a bunch of places like that where there's been portals popping up on the sign so the motel sign had a portal on it then in like a day or two days it disappeared and the portal was still there and now the portal has like a crack going through it so just like the cracks in the skies there's portals or the cracks going through the portals so then there was a crack or there was a portal on top of der burger the greasy grove uh, restaurant and then the burger was gone and then people saw the der burger 
in a desert in California. So that was pretty cool. And then right beside Greasy Grove, there's a huge mountain. And there was a portal there for a little while. I don't, I don't think it was even a day. The portal was there, and now the portal's gone, and there's an anchor there. So this kind of confirms that there's there's different dimensions that there's things from the fortnite map teleporting to different dimensions and things from a different dimension teleporting to the fortnite map so i think this almost confirms that there's going to be pirates it confirms that there's going to be like a, a desert or a, a lot of people were saying the egyptian theme because the Durberger teleported to a desert well then the desert might teleport here and then there's going to be pyramids who knows what's going to happen honestly i can't wait i think there's only three or four days until season five it comes out thursday uh, i guess yeah today's saturday so sunday monday tuesday wednesday night basically so about four more days until we get to see what is going to be going on with the rocket launch and all the stuff and it's just so cool i love how they're telling a story like call of duty and stuff they come out with a dlc every four months and they only come with four of them and you have to pay for it and you have to pay for the game this is a free game with free dlc that is updating the game every single week and every two and a half months or three and a half months they're coming with a huge huge update that is ridiculous like they're they're just they're doing amazing honestly like they're kind of setting I don't know how to like describe it but like call of duty is charging money for everything fortnite is giving you everything for free the only thing you have to pay for is skins and i mean skins provide you no advantage whatsoever you look cooler so it's like do i want to look cool and spend money or do i want to save my money like it's totally up to you it's not like oh i really want to use that new gun or i really want to play that new map and i gotta spend money for it oh well call of duty is coming out so i gotta save 80 bucks to buy the game and like they're just they're they're doing so well that everybody else needs to kind of take a hint and see wow they're releasing that game for free like holy maybe we should like a half price it or because call of duty i mean call of duty it takes them three years to make that game fortnite i mean battle royale they're updating all the time and stuff so it's still it's still in beta or on xbox it says it's in beta and then in um on pc it says like alpha or something not alpha but it says something else it doesn't say beta um, but back to tapsters, we've got one golden ticket in about three minutes. Um, but going back to Fortnite, I, I, I spend a little bit of money on skins. I've, I, I've spent a decent amount of money on skins. I think probably about the average what people spend. But I haven't gone overboard, and I definitely, if I see a cool skin and I want it, I'm probably going to end up buying it. But I'm trying to save my V-Bucks for the Battle Pass, because Season 5 Battle Pass. I'm going to try to buy the Starter Pack, or the Tier 20, so you start at tier 25 i believe just because if i feel like i I've, i did a stream the other day on fortnite and i was talking about this and people were like saying the same thing if you don't buy the start pack i've never bought the starter pack and i've never got to a, a, t a level 100 i think you because as you progress through the battle pass you get bonuses so you're like oh i got a 40 percent bonus uh and then, and then at the end it gets to 120 percent bonus that's a huge bonus if you have 120 percent bonus since the day you start playing Till the day it ends, so three and a half months, 100%, you're getting to tier or level 100. But for me, where it takes so long to get to tier 100, I got to tier 100 on week eight. Week eight out of 10, I got to tier 100. Like, that is ridiculous. Like, it shouldn't take that long, but I'm, or level 100. I keep on saying tier. Um, but I kind of want to buy the starter pack because I do want to get to level 100 because I feel like one of these seasons there's going to be a level 100 reward. There hasn't been yet, but I feel like one of these times there's going to be one and I'm going to be missing out. But we completed the daily challenge, so let's see what we can go ahead and get from here. Obviously 50 stars plus 15 golden tickets. So not too bad. We have a lot of golden tickets to spend. Not there. We need to go to gold empire. 220 here. 286. Now we have 79 left. That's 743 golden tickets we're going to have to spend to get to Prime 8 Primary Golden, which would be sick, and I can't wait for that. But it's going to take a little while to get there for sure. There we go. We can click that X. Um, but these rewards are starting to get so difficult, like 13,500 for three premium wheel spins, which is going to be really nice. We're going to get another limited edition, which is 7.5 times speed at all public biz. That is going to be nice. 
down here, 13,800 and 13,300. So, I mean, there's going to be start getting like an 800 star gap in between these. Like, look, that one's over a thousand star gap. That is ridiculous. That's going to take so long. This one's over a thousand stars. Like, this is going to start, like, this is where it starts to get like a grind. You need to be playing all the time, especially when there's only 36 hours left. We don't have a lot of time to do this, but we have a lot of stuff we need to do. I think I'm going to be happy. Um, I just want to at least complete this. So I need to get to at least 13,350 in a couple episodes. I'm going to be watching as many videos as I can. Um, there's not a whole lot of way you can actually earn stars, though. That's the thing. Like, I mean, if I leave it on, I'm not earning stars. I mean, we've been tapping quite a bit this episode, earning as many stars as we possibly can. They don't come that easily from tapping. Like, you'll get a 1 every little while, I guess. Like, we've been at 888 for a while. But I guess they got to make it a grind. The events happen, I don't want to say quite often, but fairly often. Every couple weeks, it seems like there's a new event coming out, which is nice because it, it makes me want to play. Like, usually when there's an event, it's like, ah, well, we're kind of just tapping all the time and not a whole lot of things to do. But when there's an event, it's like, holy okay, we need to keep grinding, keep getting as many stars or whatever it is, wrenches, whatever the actual item that you're trying to collect is. You want to get as many as you possibly can because there is some sick rewards but guys i'm gonna have to go ahead and end this episode here if you guys haven't joining you want to see more tap stretches videos go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more daily content i will see you guys in the next video peace